Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So first of all, I want to go ahead and shout out Christina Williams. She was one of the first ones to send me this viral video. This video is just read damn dickless, and it's coming out of pitiful ass Pennsylvania. So what's going down is that we have a group of kids. Thank you, Lord Jesus. They are not black. Yes, okay? These kids are Latino, and these damn kids are off the damn chain, okay? So what's going on is that they're on the SEPTA train, and supposedly one of the passengers said something to one of the kids. They were kind of being rowdy. You know, he told them to calm down or something like that. And the kids start going off on him. They're cussing him out, calling him all types of pussies. You know, just going off on this grown man. They eventually hit him in the balls and then proceed to spit on him, okay? So when this video went viral, a lot of folks were really upset. People were really mad. They wanted to find out who the parents were of these children because obviously these kids are so young, they cannot go to jail, okay? So now the parents have been found and of course they're embarrassed and they're making excuses for their children. They're blaming racism and all this other BS. Now the news organization, they're blurring out the faces of the kids, which I know on Lovely TTV, honey, I don't play that. If you have grown enough to sit there and step to an adult and spit on them and hit on them and everything else, then you're grown enough to let us see your little faces, okay? These little kids are bad as hell. They all need to have several damn seats, okay? Go ahead and check out this video and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Watch what happens, you fuck up. Watch what happens. Watch what happens, monkey kid. Watch what happens. Watch what happens, monkey kid. Stop following us, you fucking stalking ass bitch. You fucking rapist, fucking rapist. Stop it, please, sir. 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 Please, Watch your mouth. You said I'm not your mouth. Watch your language. I'm not saying my mouth's a bit. I told you to bury myself dead. Guys, y'all know better. Your mama and grandma, they take turns sucking your sucking your mouth. You're not allowed to spit that way. Go. Watch what happens to you. Watch what happens to you. Five children seen on viral video. We have blurred out the faces of the kids now that officials have found out who they are. SEPTA asked that we show the faces earlier on Action News, and it generated numerous tips. Tonight, Action News reporter Dan Cuellar spoke exclusively with parents of the youngsters, and Dan joins us live from SEPTA headquarters. Dan, why did SEPTA police want to identify these children, and what do they do next? Well, they believe that these children needed professional help because children at that age should not be speaking like that and acting in that behavior when they were cursing and spitting and hitting on passengers on board that Frankfurt L train. Well, they got a lot of tips and so did we. And tonight, some of those tips panned out. The parents spoke exclusively with Action News. I'm very ashamed because I'm, I'm such a parent because I would never thought they would do something like that. The parents of the children involved in the shocking video posted on social media by a writer on the Frankfurt L are shocked and dismayed with what they saw. It gets me angry, you know, and it get, I'm, I was angry at my kids because I'm still angry at my kids, you know, for acting like that. SEPTA police say a woman with four boys and a girl hopped on the SEPTA train at 2nd and Market on March 24th and got off at the York Dolphin Station. Police had released a video on Blurred hoping someone would recognize them to get the kids professional help. 
We want to get them help. This is not a case where at 6 a.m. someday we're going to be busting down a door and dragging them out in little handcuffs. It's just not going to happen. We want to get help for them. SEPTA police did visit the two families involved in the videos. Both say some of the kids are being treated for attention deficit disorder. The father of the 11 and 7 year old boys and an 8 year old girl blames the person videotaping them for egging them on. You know, they don't put that on the news when he's calling the kids monkey and all that. Yeah. That's racist. But he says he's not surprised with some of the foul language the kids were using. You know, they're not kids with silver spoon, you know, born. All they hear is curse words from inside the house through the whole street and everything. You know, and then seeing this stranger started enticing them, recording them, getting a kick off of seeing little kids being kids. Still, the mother of two of the children, eight and ten year old boys, says she feels awful. I just want to apologize to everybody that has seen that video. I want to apologize to the man that went through that. Now, we've tried several times through social media to reach the man, through social media to reach the man who shot that video, but he has not gotten back to us. Meanwhile, SEPTA has interviewed the children and their parents, but this is an ongoing investigation. Live at SEPTA. All right, so you guys just watched the news clip, and you guys just watched the interview with the parents. And while the mother was very sad and very apologetic, the father had me giving him the side eye the whole time. You're trying to blame the guy who's recording, and you're trying to call him racist, but you're making excuses for your kids' shitty ass behavior the thing is you can't even blame these kids these kids are a product of their environment and it's evident that their environment is piss poor okay they're not being raised properly because for them to not be scared to talk to an adult like that says a lot about these kids for these kids be trying to fight an adult and not only fight an adult put their hands on an adult spit on an adult call the adult a pussy and everything else for these kids to be that bold they've seen this time and time again not only in their neighborhood dad but they've also seen this in the home as well these kids didn't just wake up one day and have this attitude and this disposition they've been had this attitude and this disposition even when the so-called mother was trying to you know tell them to calm down and to watch their mouth they had no regards for her they had no respect for her they completely ignored her and kept on showing out that video was disgusting and the state definitely needs to step in if these kids keep behaving in this manner and if they stay on this same track they will end their asses up in prison i hate to say that you know these kids kids are like this on a train in public amongst adults can you imagine the terror that they are causing in the classroom but these are the same parents who will blame the school teachers who will say that the teachers are racist and they're just trying to put my son in the school to prison pipeline and take no personal responsibility for what they're not doing in their household and how they're not raising their children I can just see these kids in the classroom bullying other kids being disruptive cussing out the teacher getting suspended every day like I said the apple does not fall far from the tree and the father's demeanor tells me everything I need to know about how these children are raised and how they're acting not only in public but in that household. I blame the parents 100%. These are their fruits and these fruits are spoiled rotten. All these kids need their asses whooped. They need to be on timeout. They don't even need to look at a television, cable, video games, none of that shit. They need to be on punishment. That's not how you talk to an adult. And I'm sorry, that kid couldn't spit on me. I probably would've snatched that little boy up by the top of his head. That situation to me was disgusting. He had no business spitting on somebody. I find that video, I find the father's excuses, and everything that went down with that entire situation just re damn ridiculous. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Do you feel like these kids were supposedly egged on by some racist man? Or do you feel like the father's making excuses for his children's bad behavior? And then what would you have done had you been on that train and got attacked, cussed out, hit on, and spit by these little badass kids? And I'm gonna say it again, okay? Thank you, Lord Jesus, they're not black. Can you imagine if these were black kids? This story would have been even more viral. This would have been on HNL News, CNN. This would have been all over the place. And you know damn well they would not have blurred out their faces, okay? How you doing? So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire pitiful ass situation that's once again coming from pitiful ass Pennsylvania. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.